Hello friends, today in this video, I am going to explain you the functionality of confirming a visit of a patient. So far, we have seen the entire flow of the receptionist adding an appointment, right? But then, once the appointment is added, the idea is that the patients will be waiting for the doctor one by one and when the number comes for one particular patient, the receptionist, what she will or he will do is click on confirm, okay, and that patient's name disappears from this list. This is the working dashboard of the receptionist from where he or she will be able to manage the visits. So let's look at how this is done. Diving into the code, the first thing which I have done is obviously added the appointment button, right, which we saw over here. So what does this do? It basically makes a call to a new route. So let's look at that route first, web.php. I have visit confirm, which has visit confirm controller and I have a store method there. So inside that, I have this request, there's a patient, there's the appointment ID, okay? Again, in here, I'm only taking the ID because I'm doing a find or fail on a below. But then, let's go to that piece later. But the thing is, as I told you, once the appointment is confirmed, I have introduced a new concept called visit, okay? So visit is a new model. So let's look at that model, what we have over here, visit.php. It has few fields, patient ID, appointment ID, problems and prescription. Okay. So these are the fields inside a visit model. Obviously the migration, let me go into the database, migrations and visits table. Over here, I have foreign ID for patient, foreign ID for appointment. That's how we got patient ID, appointment ID two text fields, problems and prescription. This is where the doctor will type in things and so on and so forth. But this is the visits model. So what is happening in the URL? Okay, I have a new version of that. Let me do that. I'll silently perform. That's what I feel. Okay, so yes, the button is pressed. We are sending the patient ID, the appointment ID, and then you can see there's a try catch block. The reason for this is there is an update to the appointment table and then there is an insert into the visit table. So this entire thing is inside a try catch and then a DB transaction is being started. So appointment, we are finding it from the database. We are setting a time. Okay. So if you remember so far in these appointments, when we are adding it, right, let me show you again. So let's just say patient name is Vikas Kumar, phone number, age, and this, save. Okay, the date is 15th. And if I save, you can see there's no time attached to it, correct? Because right now, we don't know when the patient will be going in to the doctor's clinic, right? But when we confirm, what I'm doing over here is I'm attaching the time. Now, format hours and minutes. Okay. And I have added one more field in the migration. If you see, previously it didn't have the visited column. But what I wanted to do is in the appointment, I wanted to keep a flag as visited so that I can easily know which all appointments are still pending. Okay, so the appointment is now updated. Then with this appointment ID, I create a new visit entry. I have the patient ID, appointment ID, the problems and prescription is still empty because the patient has just gone in and the doctor has not yet seen that patient. Okay, so the transaction is here. If there is an error, we are logging that in. And then we have redirect route home, which means after doing all these things, for example, Vikas Kumar, I confirm, hit OK. We are back on this page and that entry is gone. It's gone because now it is confirmed. And what I have done is inside dashboard controller, 
sorry that's home controller we are calling this service right so this service i have made certain changes and the changes i added one more flag called confirm equals true okay by default it will look for records where confirmed is true home controller is sending this as false so on the home dashboard i am looking for the appointments which are still not confirmed because that's what you know, the person at the reception is interested in right so that's there the idea is the doctor's dashboard will have entries where the appointments are confirmed because that's where the patient has actually an entry of the visit right and that's where the prescription and the problems will be entered so obviously you know there is a small change i have this query but then looking at it i think i have made a mistake in here hmm yeah i think so if it is so what i will do is if it is true right then visited should be one so i'm looking for confirmed one so visited should be one and where time is not null okay because there will be an entry for the time as well and if it is false okay i just want entries of visited equals zero time entries doesn't matter so let's see yeah this doesn't change because we are still looking for visited as zero it makes a difference when we are on the dashboard of the doctor okay but right now because this is false it is coming over here but this will be required so i i understood that this is going to be a problem and I'm, hence i'm fixing this but this is our service so if we pass this flag confirmed if it is true this is the query if it is false then this is the query and this is something which i really like you know this conditional way of developing your query inside eloquent is so easy you know you have a condition you can have any kind of condition today when it is i mean when it is set or when it is present you run this you know when it is a specific value you run this and there are a lot of ways to do things so yeah i mean it's quite handy so with all these things done i think the back end is kind of ready so let me quickly you know go through the flow once more we have a route controller controller calls the store method store method takes these two parameter i mean post data okay then we update the appointment we create a visit entry and then that's about it but then let's look at the front end on the front end obviously we have these two buttons so let's look at our appointment table appointment table tsx what i have done over here is so this is name and all and then i have actions actions has two buttons one is confirm one is cancel okay cancel i haven't handled yet but the confirm button has a pop confirm so that pop confirm is this widget which is coming over here this is very similar to i think what we have done in patients i think patients right yes this thing the same um component i have used this is from ant design so the title says confirm visit if i click on i think it's confirm right okay yeah okay then this function gets called and because we are inside the render function the key and the value is available so i'm passing the value over here and let's see handle confirm what does it do it takes the record and it makes a post call to the new route that we have created which is visit confirm and it sends the entire record from that record we are only interested in these two parameters correct so i could have stripped down the object but that's fine it's very small so i didn't want to do that it will just increase you know some lines of code but 
uh, that's fine. I mean, okay. So yeah, that's about it, guys. That's how I got this entire functionality of confirming of a patient's visit from the receptionist dashboard. I hope you like this video and this series, guys. This is, as I explained, is something which I'm doing for my friend, you know, who is a doctor, and this is basically his requirement what you know is getting translated into the app if you like this series do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel